Alex Chemerov here at Movements for Life. Our next restorative station is going to take us to the forearms. So we're going to focus on the flexors and the extensors. And this is going to be our last one from a soft tissue standpoint uh, for our purposes. Um, not to say that we cannot get into more detailed areas like getting even up into the neck and into the suboccipitals. Um, but at that point, um, we start kind of getting into a uh, little bit more detailed work and we like to lean in on some practitioners that we use to, to help us out with some of the more detailed work. Um, so that said, back to forearms. Um, two sides we got to hit. Um, in, the, in the previous video, we talked a lot about um, when we were rolling the pecs, some scapular dysfunction and how that can help contribute towards some elbow alleys, whether it's medial or lateral um, elbow discomfort. So tennis or golfer's elbow. Um, doesn't mean that forearms cannot be a, a, a source of tension or strain. Um, so even though the symptoms are down at the elbow, the forearms do need to still be hit, but the solution usually lies elsewhere, which is more at the origin of the chain. Um, but it does help um, to be able to make sure that these tissues are nice and pliable and extensible because the forearms are very much involved with, as it relates to grip, hand motion, wrist motion, because the forearms do take the brunt of a lot of different work. So to be able to get through some of these tissues, lacrosse ball is going to be really the best way. And to hit more of the flexors, all I'm going to do is just place my kind of forearm belly right on the lacrosse ball. I do use my opposite arm and just kind of um, press down on to create some leverage. And at this point, I'm just going to make my way with the grain and I can just like all other areas we've rolled, kind of seek and see what you find in terms of the tissue tension, whether I roll more towards the outside or more towards the inside of my flexors. Typically with, um, whether it's golfers or tennis elbow, there will be tension on both sides of the forearm. We can't just pick on any one side at that point. However, there is a link with the flexors and coming up through bicep and into the pec. So some of the um, superficial front arm lines, if you or, uh, arm lines, if you're following anatomy trains, um, and then the extensors will tie in fascially to more a posterior track going through tricep and into some of the um, scapular muscles in the back. So getting into the teres and through the delt at that point. To get more of the extensors. Um, I like using a wall at this point, and what I do is just lean my body into my elbow, and I'm starting here like at the pronator teres, so right on that lateral part of my um, elbow, and now I just kind of lean into it, and it's almost as if I'm trying to wedge the ball in between my radius and the ulna, and just start kind of making my way down towards the wrist. You can kind of strum your fingers there. It ends up being a little bit like a uh, kind of a flossing type of effect. So this will feel really good. Very often with any of these rolling techniques, especially with forearms, is you don't become aware of it until you start getting some of the alleys. You know, plantar fascia or plantar fasciitis, same concept. Nobody realizes how much tension is in their feet until they get plantar fasciitis and then start rolling their feet. So forearms and elbows, very, very much the same. Um, so make your way through there, thoroughly comb through the flexors and those extensors. Um, everything is so grip based with not just working out, but in our daily lives, everything that we're holding on to, grabbing, squeezing, holding, and pulling up towards us. Um, so undo some of the stress from there. Enjoy these. These are definitely a little bit uncomfortable, but they do feel really good. And uh, again, you'll never realize how much strain and tension you have in those forms until you start rolling. So enjoy.